Hello, first grade. Today we're going to be working on uh, standard 1.8 C and D, which is I can draw conclusions and generate and answer questions from bar and picture graphs. So there's a video yesterday that you watched about picture graphs and how to analyze data from picture graphs and generate questions. So today, Ms. Scars is going to give you an example of what that would look like. So I have an example of a picture graph of favorite animal choices for three of our teachers. So Ms. Scunane's favorite animal choice is a monkey. Ms. Garza's favorite animal choices were seals and Ms. Pyburn's favorite animal choices for her class were giraffes. So the first thing I need to do before I can generate some questions is to look at what my data says. So right now I can count how many monkeys represent Ms. Gunane's class. One, two, three, four, five. So five monkeys are represented for her data. For Miss Garza, we have one, two, three, four seals. And Miss Pyburns is one, two, three giraffes. So before I ask my questions, if I put my thinking cap on, I know based on my data that five is bigger than four, so there are more monkeys than seals, and I know that there are less giraffes than monkeys or less giraffes than seals. So while I'm thinking, I'm thinking with my cap on that maybe I can ask a question about who has more and who has less. So one question that I'm thinking that my uh, other mathematicians could answer is maybe how many more monkeys are there than seals? So one question I can generate is how many more monkeys than seals. And right now I'm not answering my question. I'm just generating some questions. Hmm. What else could I ask? I could ask how many giraffes and seals would be if I joined them together. How many giraffes and seals all together. Now if I wanted to answer them because my standard says I can draw conclusions, generate, and answer my questions, I could look at my question. How many more monkeys than seals? Well they're the same here, they're the same here, they're the same here, they're the same here. But uh-oh, right here, there's not another seal to match the monkey. So there's one more monkey than seals. So there is one more monkey than seals. So that was a comparison problem. My second one, we said how many giraffes and seals all together. So that would be a joining problem. So if I join the four with the three, I'm going to use my 10 frame to represent that. So I joined four. with three more, together I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven.
seven animals, specifically the giraffes and seals together. So I join those two data pieces together. So there are seven animals, giraffes and seals together. So boys and girls, we have to see, did I meet my standard today? Did I draw conclusions based on the graph? I think we did. I generated my questions. I did. And I answered my questions from the graph. So boys and girls, I challenge you to the activity that I'm posting in the Google Classroom to where you're going to get your own graph and you're going to be the mathematician that generates and answers questions.